Okay. Oh, man. Greetings, everyone. Welcome to Progressive Discussions. Of course, you know all about it because you saw the introduction to the show. Why be redundant? Everything we discuss politically is part of our series, Crapitalism in a Conch Shell. That's right, you heard it. Crapitalism in a Conch Shell. And with the Republicans in control of Washington and the insane asylum Trump administration, there is a heap and helping of crap. Not a heap and helping, helping of hospitality like the uh, Beverly Hillbilly song, but a heap and helping of crap. Oh, man. Anyway, I have my better late than never corned beef and cabbage, and I gorge myself on succulent, tender brisket of corned beef. And, um, yes, I did, I did share some of it with family. Uh, there was that much. I, I got a real big, big one. And mm -hmm. I made up for lost time. So, so the video is on YouTube. The video is on our, our Facebook group. Everything is food. Uh, uh, better late than ever, corned beef and cabbage, followed by Bye Bye Brisket, uh -huh. which meant my last plate of the corned beef and cabbage. And it was, it was a big plate, but it was the last. So I named it Bye Bye Brisket. <laughs> anyway, uh, myself, James P. Madonna, and the Reverend Doc, and the Reverend Dr. William J. Eisenman, are now uh, um, sampling some Yinling India Pale Lager. Now I'm used to seeing India Pale Ale, Ale yeah. but this is India Pale Lager by Yinling, America's uh, oldest brewery. All right, for those that are not familiar with it, it is a craft beer, uh, established 1829. Uh, it's uh, Pottsville. Ah, Pottsville, Pennsylvania. Pottsville, Pennsylvania. I was calling it Pottstown. No, Pottsville, Pennsylvania. I think there is a Pottstown too. Hey man, I'm not sure. You, you know where the, you know where there's too much of? <laughs> uh, a Springfields. There are more Springfields, I bet. How about Monroe's? There's Monroe's all over the church. Why was he that important, President Monroe? No, not really. The only thing he really did was uh, uh, South America belongs to us. You know, actually, Monroe Doctor. Actually, none of the Americas belong to to any Caucasian invader. <laughs> when you think about it. Uh, Monroe Docker. I'm sure it was in Marilyn Monroe that they, they, they named no, the towns no, after, but um, no, 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 no. it's not bad. India no. Pale Lager by Yinling. That's what I say. Seven lucky bells for this week's progressive discussion. Discussions? Discussions. Okay. Um, well, it, it it it's there's no news. I mean, it's not new. It, it is not new that um, the Republican Congress and and the scrawny pencil neck geek Paul Ryan has been getting a lot of heat about uh, destroying the Affordable Care Act or or trying to at least. And uh, I watched uh, a few live stream videos from Our Revolution, you know, Jeff Weaver and uh, Bernie Sanders' Our Revolution, mm -hmm. and I was surprised to see Elizabeth Warren uh, get up and speak during one of those live video streams, and uh, I, I thought she was a complete uh, sellout establishment Democrat, but she showed up and she gave a great speech. And and uh, it's good to have her on board. Um, they they usually do the um, the live streaming with the the Capitol building, or should I say the Crapitol building in the background. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> so uh, you know, yeah. Well, it, it, hey, it's a no-brainer. They want 
the they poor. Are. They want the poor and 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 uh, low-income America <laughs> to either become in, uh, desperate and enslaved or to kill you off. Uh, a genocide of the poor, either one of the two. Now, supposedly the Republicans are still not too fond of taking care of our veterans. Haven't heard anything about that, and guess what's going to be next now that they lost the repeal of Obamacare and put their own uh, uh, oh, American Trump, they care. Call it Trump, they, Trump, Trump care. Trump care is really the funeral parlor. When well, you think yeah. about it. <laughs> but now that they lost uh, you know, all of that, uh, they're going to do taxes next. Oh, let me guess. Not uh, what you just said. Let me guess. The middle class will be hammered even more. Yeah. And the rich will get more tax cuts because they are on the take, man. They are on the take, Billy Bones. Well, the uh, American Care Act, the Republican replacement of it Obamacare, Americans? was merely a, a a redistribution of money upward. They called it as they always. They do. called it the American Care. Yeah, American Care. care. Act. Who are they caring for? Trump. <laughs> and the top one percent. Yeah. So in other words, it's like it's yeah. like the the the, uh, the clear skies uh, yeah, clear amendment skies or, amendment. or right yeah. to work. <laughs> yeah. They give they give it a positive name so the American people like cozy up to it. You know. They give it a positive name and then they don't. They want you to vote. You want they want you to vote on it without reading it, without knowing what it's really about. Right. It's a. Uh, it's like, well, Americans are, are lazy as a species, yeah. you know, uh, that's why uh, <laughs> that's why they don't research, uh, especially if you're some redneck who, uh, who votes based on emotion and how hyped up you make them feel, like Trump did during his rallies, you know, uh, uh, he, he touched upon subjects that were near and dear to their hearts, which is blaming everything on people of color. And, em and immigrants of color. Don't forget them da immigrants yeah. of color, though. Not the European ones. Well, now, for losing replacement of Obamacare, uh, you're blaming the Democrats. Oh, they stopped blaming Obama on everything? No, you're blaming the Democrats because the Democrats wouldn't uh, vote with them. Oh, Did they didn't get their way. Yeah. Oh, poor, poor things. You're breaking my heart. Something like 34 Republicans were not going to vote for it. So Ryan pulled it. Didn't even let it go uh, to a vote. So it wouldn't <laughs> embarrass them more. Well, from what, I, from what I've read, there's been a lot of very angry protesting in very large numbers about people freaking out about about not having health care not having not having a replacement for for Obamacare and you yes. know and uh, 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 seniors and uh, uh, losing their meals on wheels and uh, it goes on and on and on and um, there's a lot of um, I'm glad a lot of a lot of veterans have seen the light and stop waving the damn flag and start getting pissed off as well they should <laughs> Because that should be the next thing. Well, actually, the first thing on uh, Obama on on, on on Trumpy's agenda should have been immigration, and it was. But they didn't know how to do it. See, what is coming to light is the fact that Republicans do not know how to govern. They know how to be against things. All right, but they do not know how to. Govern. They got all them talking points. That's correct. Yes, but they but once they're they're in the driver's seat, they they veer off the road into the guardrail, <laughs> into the ditch, into the and ditch. They wait for Rep Democrats to pull them out of the pull ditch. them out w with the with the flatbed tow truck or whatever <laughs> yeah. or a crane. That's what it amounts to. They don't know how to govern. Uh, I I was watching a video that Sash Boyle uh, posted where it shows. Uh, Donald Trump saying that oh, I have a replacement for Obamacare and it's going to be oh it's going to be much better and it's going to be uh, w much more uh, cost effective and uh, mm -hmm. and now he's denying that he ever said he had a replacement.
for Obamacare and they showed the tape side by side yeah. of him saying he has a replacement for Obamacare. And it does no good when you catch him in lies. He but, does not even he, have the the wherewithal to... I'm sorry. What is he, a sociopath? I'm sorry. Yes, he is. He's a narcissist. He doesn't... Yeah, he feels no remorse. That's correct. He feels no shame. That's correct. It's like he blows it off, like, you yes, know... Yes, like, yes. Eh. You know, he... Uh, uh, people have said that when, when you talk to him uh, about a serious matter in private, he has a very short attention span, Donald Trump. Like a, like a child, he like... Uh, yes, and he has no ability to walk in your moccasins. You mean empathy? Empathy. Empathizing. Correct. See, well, that that's a hallmark of right-wing conservatives, is they lack compassion and empathy. Yes, they do. And they also love to rewrite the Bible. <laughs> well, that doesn't <laughs> agree with them, yeah. Well, they only, they cherry-pick what they like, that's it. <laughs> The part about the rich helping and giving to the poor, that part they hate the most, I bet. Yes, they do. You know, uh, yeah. but anyway, um, the big news this week was, of course, people freaking out about losing their health care. Mm. And um, I'm glad that uh, our revolution is really on a roll. I hope they get, they get the asses of the masses that Bernie Sanders got during the... 2016 election during the rallies I hope that they muster up enough people to convert to convert our revolution into a new progressive non-establishment <laughs> third party and because um, I don't know I highly doubt if the DNC is going to be uh, a non-establishment by 2020 it doesn't look like they're going in that direction. No, they're, they're, their progressive wing has been clipped. Yeah, they're out there. Okay. Well, when Hillary was running, you know, she, she said that the, the affordable, I'm sorry, she said that the single payer universal health care was not going to happen. Right. And she said it with relish. Yeah, well, anybody does who is. Um, who, uh, in their heart of hearts, is a Republican who does not want right. government to pay for anything like that. Right. Now, it's obvious they say what they say because they're paid off. And Jesse Ventura said once, a long time ago, that as a politician that is elected to office, mm -hmm. you, are, you are under no obligation to meet with... Um, uh, to meet with um, lobbyists, huh? Lobbyists. Lobbyists. Thank you. I got a brain my, freeze. I got a brain freeze there. I don't know. It's not this. Um, uh, it's been a fa fast and furious week for me. A lobbyist. You are. You are. You are under no obligation to meet with lobbyists. No. And uh, it's true. And he uh, he didn't. I I, I I'm wondering why he. Uh, he never really seeked a second term in Minnesota, but I don't have the details of that, but what he, what he said was right. You don't have to meet with and kowtow to lobbyists. Mm. But you know, they do. But then again, Jesse did not take campaign contributions from the Fat Cats. No. No. He had a small budget. Yeah. He had a small budget like Bernie Sanders. Like his father said. His father said, why are you getting... Why are you going into a job where you're not going to make any money? You know? It's not a, a public service. Unless you're a crooked politician, public service is not... It's public service. It's not... It's public service. Right. It's, not, it's not a place to get rich quick. Right. Or to get wealthy. Yeah. Absolutely. You know. And as the Bible says, he who... Makes haste. Makes haste to, to be, be rich, rich. Shall not be innocent. Shall not be innocent. Um, but a lot of things are happening, you know. Um, uh, of course, our groups and pages, uh, web pages are improving. 
uh, the uh, the Facebook page Progressive Discussions is a is an absolute juggernaut. <laughs> it's humongous. Um, it even has an album called The God Project. There's even an album called Holistic Health Talk. Um, there's believe me, seeing is believing. You got to take a look at it. It's a juggernaut, and you don't have to sign into Facebook to see it. It's publicly visible. Where? On the, on the well, group you, page or the no, profile? No, just go to Google and you type in uh, Facebook, comma, uh, progressive discussions. Or you, you just type in progressive discussions. It should come up. And, and the page is like, can be viewed. How about if it's like your album on your profile page? Ah, but then, then that's just limited to my friends, my so-called oh, okay. friends list. Okay. Is is very limited. So how do you move the album over to the public? Oh no, the albums are on the uh, uh, Facebook Profile. page. Progressive discussion. A page, a Facebook page is not a group. It's not a profile. A Facebook page is like having a web site. Yeah, it's okay. where yeah, like but yeah, but yeah, it's like it, I'm it, talking about my my album. Like like in other words, the page, the page where you click like to, that's the Facebook page. There's no joining as a member. You click like to it. Uh, your album. Are you talking about your paintings? Yeah. Uh, they're on a profile page. They're on your profile page, yeah. I guess. Yeah. And they're in an album. Yes. Yeah, I mean, I mean, uh, you can't, you could put the link on it, but as far as the album goes, I mean, I still have your paintings on my hard drive. No, but I'm just wondering where, you know, you have to do something special to put them public. Oh, not, it's not going to be, it's not going to be as public on your profile right, as okay. it will be on a, a Facebook page. All right. Because the Facebook page is, I think, uh, the search engine uh, spiders get, uh, get to them. You know, uh, the only time your profile will come up is by name. Like if your profile is William J. Eisenman and somebody typed in William J. Eisenman in Google, then it'll come up. It'll come up. But um, mm -hmm. as far as content being you know visible to cyberspace and beyond no it, it, no it would have to be on a deliberately put there somewhere. on a yeah. on a page okay. you know like like uh the creator mario petrus has his profile and then he has petrus fitness page dedicated to what he does with clients okay so you know create but and it's free. The beauty is you you can create more than one page. That's the amazing part of it. Well, yeah. It could be more than one page. Okay. It could be uh, I don't know sexuality holistic approach. Yeah. It could be uh, fetish two thousand. It could be anything you want. You can have multiple pages. Mm -hmm. You know. But anyway, let us sink our teeth into these readings because we have uh, ample time. Since the only thing I had to talk about was health care, <laughs> uh, the health care situation, that, that was uh, foremost well, in, the, in the news. Well, let me put something else in there with health care. Yeah. Because this gentleman, this gentleman was on one of these, one of the political shows today, and he said he's on Obamacare. Obama. And he's paying twenty one hundred dollars a month. Does he have? Is he a business owner? Yeah, he's a he's a well-to-do person. That's a pretty. You mean uh, for his employees or for him? No, for him alone. And he's, that's a pretty top-notch uh, plan. Yeah. I mean, Jerry Jerry's uh, self-employed, and he's paying about five hundred for like a like a medium uh, mediocre. Yeah, which won't do you any good. Yeah. Well, not, not you a end ship, up with a catastrophic illness, and your plan is crap. Uh, you mean a, a, medi a mediocre plan? Catastrophic. That means your life savings is is, is zero. Finished. Boom. It's finished. Yeah, Say goodbye gone. to your life yeah, savings. Exactly. 
Maybe if you have a house, say goodbye to your house too. But my point being, right? The poor people on Obamacare are not paying twenty one hundred dollars a month. No, they are getting a subsidy. Yes. To pay whatever they are paying, if indeed they are paying anything. That's why it's connected to Medicaid, which right. the Republicans are not fond of either. Exactly. That was, that's my whole point. That's why Obamacare, the Republicans, never did anything about those people. They were, their their uh, uh, American Care Act was going to throw 24 million people off. Medicaid uh, and Obama. Because the, the Republicans want to pocket more money. They want, yes, they want more tax private, money. private insurance companies to insure you. Well, like if it you was in the old days. If you don't have any money to pay your premiums, then you don't get it. Then you don't get insurance. Well, exactly. And then when that's you, what they want. And then when you get, and if you have to go to the doctor or the hospital, you dro you end up dropping dead. Well, they want you to go to the emergency room, and you'll be taken care of because they can't deny you. But they will do what they have to do to put you on the street. And then from then? Yeah, but you know in the emergency room, they, they have What's some, the first question they some ask woman, you? Some woman comes up to you as you're lying on a gurney <laughs> and says, uh, what insurance do you have? Do you have insurance? She, as you're lying there going, oh! Uh, exactly. Uh, exactly. Uh, what insurance do you have? Exactly. You have any other? You have secondary? You have any? Uh, okay, you have any other? Yeah, man. It's like, he, motherfucker, he, this is when I have to salute Northern Europe and democratic socialism and Canada too. I mean, you're lying there in pain or worse and they want to know what your insurance is yeah. in the emergency room. Yeah. And then if, if they don't uh, uh, know Hackensack University Medical Center mm -hmm. I hear uh, if you don't tell them you have the, uh, you know the, um, what what middle class people have, you know the the, uh, the the proper health insurance plan. If you say, well, all I have is Medicaid, uh -huh. they walk away from you. Yeah, they're not gonna. Well, in a huff, like they 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 have an attitude. Because there's a lot of doctors don't take it even. They will not well, take med Medicaid. Medicaid really pays chicken feed yes it does uh, to the doc I mean uh, the chiropractor that I I have uh, a Chinese gentleman that uses uh, uh, acupressure chiropractic reflexology he told me that Medicaid was only paying him like six dollars a visit that's possible that's like your uncle giving you a couple bucks hey kid here's a couple bucks don't spend it all in one place scratch yeah. my back <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, uh, uh, or or some pedophile bribing a kid with with a uh, candy or a couple <laughs> bucks. I mean, come on. I mean, uh, it's an insult to a physician of any kind. Right. Is to give him six dollars per visit. No wonder they don't want to accept it anymore. They had to drop it. My chiropractor says I had to drop it. Yeah. You know. Yep. I, I mean, yep. I yep. feel bad, but I had to drop it. You know. They always say that I feel bad. That's like when somebody says, with all due respect, before he tears you apart verbally, <laughs> with all due respect, they they throw that in. <laughs> That's what they do in the in the Congress. <laughs> with all due respect, uh, my co my my, my fellow my co Republican colleague. Yeah, yeah. With all due respect, no, no, we're not with all due respect. <laughs> you have to earn respect. Oh my God. With all due respect. Oh gosh. Oh. Anyway, the Trump administration will approve the Keystone XL pipeline Friday. Senior US officials said, ending years of delay for a project that has served as a flashpoint in the national debate about climate change. The State Department will recommend that the pipeline is in U.S. interests, clearing the way for the White House to grant a presidential permit to TransCanada to build the $8 billion pipeline. Meanwhile, the Native American, uh, the, the Lakota Sioux people will get piped. They'll get the pipe all right. Yeah. 
put up the pipe over their land. The Obama administration rejected the pipeline after deeming it contrary to national interests. The officials who weren't authorized to speak publicly on the, ma the matter said the State Department's recommendation and the White House's final approval would occur today. The White House declined to comment other than to say it would offer an update today. State Department spokesman Mark Toner wouldn't reveal the decision but said the agency had re-examined Keystone thoroughly after ruling against the proposed project barely two years ago. We're looking at new factors, Toner said. I don't want to speak to those until we've reached a decision. The 1,700-mile pipeline, as envisioned, would carry oil from tar sands in Alberta, Canada to refineries along the Texas Gulf Coast, passing through Montana, South Dakota, Nebraska, Kansas, and Oklahoma. The pipeline would move roughly 800,000 barrels of oil per day. More than one-fifth of the oil Canada exports to the U.S. oil industry. Advocates say the pipeline will improve U.S. energy security and create jobs, although how many is widely disputed. Calgary-based TransCanada has promised as many as 13,000 construction jobs, 6,500 a year over two years, but the State Department previously estimated a far smaller number. The pipeline's opponents contend the jobs will be minimal and short-lived and say the pipeline won't help the U.S. with energy needs because the oil is destined for export. Huh. President Donald Trump has championed <laughs> the pipeline. Championed. Because he champions making money. And what about all the, the Russian ties that are... Oh, they're coming that, up, buddy. Be, oh, oh, you mean you got something there? Yeah, no, 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 they're coming up. The ties that he they're has to... They're being found out. Yeah, the, the ties that he has to Russia. Um, Manafort, Roger Stone, uh, 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 others, and it's and it all going to be revealed. They all have business connections. And in fact, I think Donald Trump is going to be found to have business connections with the Russia. And, al and also, there may very well, from what I read, be evidence stating that um, Russia played a role in the election. Well, that they already know. Donald Trump winning the election. Yeah. Because, they, already because they are business partners or business compadres, <laughs> whatever you want to call them. You know, Vladimir Putin has, has a, a significant oil interest. Oh, yeah. He's got... He's a corporatist uh, pretending to be a socialist? Or does he pretend to be no, a socialist? No, they're not socialists over there anymore. Oh, okay. They're capitalists. Oh, that's no good. Well, that's where they are now. Oh, uh, it's it, the European Union is is primarily socialist. Well, for the most part, except except. Uh, if you want to call the government taking care of certain people and etc., then that's socialism. Yeah. But, yes. Uh, yeah. <clears throat> but socialism has a more 
compact definition than that, just like capitalism does, or communism does. Well, democratic socialism means that uh, you're allowed to own and operate uh, a privately owned Boom. company, business, corporation, but you pay your fair share in taxes. You you don't go on a tax vacation. You pay dearly, and you, like you should. Well, yeah, dearly, yeah. Yeah. But the uh, thing of it is uh, that, again, uh, socialism basically means that it's it's almost like democracy. It means the people are in charge. The people own the government. Yes. And they put it because the government is, is uh, because there's so many people and everything, they have to have representatives instead of themselves. Well, unfortunately, the representatives that we have now that's correct have sold out their the, the they for themselves sold out the people that had voted them in. Yeah. Yeah. So that's what you have with these these yeah. things, but um, and in, instead of calling things capitalism, socialism, they, you call them the right thing to do, and that sums it all up. Yeah, it's it's kind of like you find the right thing to do in the right in a the, the certain situation, and you do it. That's all. There's there there is the right thing to do. There is the wrong thing to do, and. Uh, and then once you 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 determine what the right thing to do is, then you have a the, the a better way to do the right thing and the best way to do the right thing. Or someone like the Republican will just step back and not do anything. See? Yeah, I mean, uh, I'm surprised Obama hasn't been on every talk show spilling the beans after after eight years of uh, obstructionism and racism and. An abuse. I'm, an abuse. I'm yeah. surprised he's not singing like a canary right now on uh, on all the uh, the top news networks. Yeah, he should. He's not. Maybe he's just in. He's maybe he's relaxing. Maybe he's well. Enjoying, he was on vacation. Enjoying. He was golfing. So. I think yeah. I think he's just trying to uh, decom decompress. Could be. From eight years of aggravation nonstop. Exactly. He's probably just. But he'll 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 come out he'll come out and sing like a canary eventually, and and I have a feeling he will have a lot to say. And Michelle Obama would also be be involved. Well, he should be on this uh, this uh, he bugged Trump's White House. <laughs> he should be on that, man. I mean, how much more can you allow this guy to lie about you? Yeah. I hear I hear Melania has her uh, her own bedroom. Yeah, 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 yeah. You know. That's what they're starting to find out. Maybe maybe Donald Trump is like sleeping with a corpse. Maybe she's sleeping with a corpse. That's what I meant. That's why she's out of there. Yeah, she's maybe yeah. hers. Yeah, her with him is like yeah. yeah. She's not the corpse. <laughs> Remember that's his third. Wife. Wife. And that's not counting all the other ones that he's grabbed by the pussy. <laughs> well, you know, he, he has dated a lot, but uh, but he's filthy rich. So, you know, uh, he he can. Grab just by like, the pussy. Just like a, <laughs> yeah, that too. Just, <laughs> like, just like a rock and roll star, a rock and roll legend, <laughs> has a cornucopia of attractive young women to have sex with. As Speaking of a, groupies. a rock and roll cornucopia group, whatever, Chuck Berry died. Yeah, poor guy. Chuck Berry, that's 90. right. Chuck Berry died. Yeah. yeah. And Chuck Barris. Chuck Barris of the Gong Show died. Yes, uh, he was 87, something like that. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. Chuck Barris of the Gong Show. Mm hmm. So uh, it's too bad. Um, uh, oh, I do, uh, there was an article posted on a Holistic Health Talk saying that uh, eating pussy juice, pussy, pussy uh, vagina, vaginal secretions destroys cancer cells. There's something in vaginal secretions. Wow. 
So that means the drug, compa- the drug company is gonna gonna like uh, pay women to uh, play with themselves and then and then try to patent it. Hey, if it's worthwhile, you know. You gotta have a PhD in in, in cunning linguistics, though. Well, you, you men, you, yeah, they have to learn. <laughs> you know, <laughs> you have to learn how to how to uh, agitate the little man in the boat. The little man in the boat, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> you know. Yeah. Okay. House Speaker Paul Ryan was inspired to become a politician when he read. Atlas Shrugged by Ayn Rand. Oh, oh, of course, of course he, he was a fan of Ayn Rand. The premise is simple. There are makers and there are takers. Well, yeah, the, ta- the taker would be the cocksuckers of society, the, the, uh, the low lives. The makers create wealth and provide jobs. The government taxes the makers and gives the money to the undeserving takers. The undeserving, yeah. Whenever government does this, the takers call it entitlements. The Republicans call it welfare. Yeah, oh, it's, yeah. that's not counting the corporate welfare, which, is, which surpasses uh, any other welfare. Class warfare and a redistribution of wealth. The rush to repeal and replace Obamacare is a masquerade. It is a huge tax cut for the wealthy, disguised as health reform. Republicans cannot pass more tax cuts for the rich by a simple majority in the Senate unless they do so in a way that doesn't add to the deficit. By cutting money for Medicaid and Obamacare, they will be able to reduce the federal deficit and thus can move to tax reform, where the lion's share of tax cuts will again go to the wealthy. The wealthy, that are already wealthy. Die-hard conservatives Ryan, Clarence Thomas, and Ben Carson are all Ayn Rand devotees. Really? Oh, so the Uncle Toms, uh, Clarence Thomas, Ben Carson, the Uncle Toms mm-hmm. are fans of Ayn Rand too. All have benefited from the government largest. Ayn Rand herself was a recipient of both Social Security and Medicare near the end of her life. Oh yeah, when when it's when 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 it's it when it uh, applies to them and when they need help, then it's they okay. get all humble. And it's oh, they okay. don't get humble; they deserve it. Yeah. Rush Limbaugh deserved his unemployment <laughs> when he was unemployed. Uh, but 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 other people that are not rich and famous. It's a different story. They're moochers. That is correct. Except, except the elitists, they're not moochers. No. They're no. deserving. They, and, and, they, and they will, they opportunistically will take advantage of any social program if it applies to them, if, if, if they really need it. We're talking about rich, right-wing conservatives. They, they will... They are par- very parasitic, but heaven forbid the little guys should need help. And they will rob from those programs, like doctors and hospitals and etc. do with Medicare and Medicaid. Well, they're hardened criminals. You might as well say they are. You know, they, they, I saw a banner and it shows uh, um, um, people in the ghetto, African Americans in the ghetto, uh, uh, looting stores during during a crisis, and and it says that this is the these are these are the looters the media wants you to see, yeah. and these are the real looters. And on the bottom is showed uh, all of the uh, the establishment politicians in suits and ties. Yeah. You know, doing the real lo- looting. Doing the real looting. 
Welcome to Washington. Can have it. In a major setback to the first legislative initiative of his administration, Donald Trump agreed with House Speaker Paul Ryan on Friday to cancel a scheduled, delayed, and rescheduled vote to overhaul the Affordable Care Act after it had become clear Republicans did not have the votes to pass it. The repercussions won't be limited to health care. The unsuccessful scramble for votes, much of it played out in public on cable TV and Twitter scars, House Speaker Paul Ryan in particular, and the GOP in general. Given that Republicans have spent seven and a half years and four elections promising to undo President Barack Obama's signature domestic initiative. Congressional Republicans had voted more than 50 times to overturn the law when they knew it didn't count because Obama was in the White House to veto it. They, uh, they just don't want they don't want the poor and the middle class to have anything to get to receive any kind of help of any kind. <clears throat> They have, they, have, they have theirs, and they don't care about anyone else. I'm disappointed because we could have had it, Trump told reporters at the White House after the bill repealing oh. and replacing the Affordable Care Act was pulled. Replacing it. Blaming the defeat on the refusal of Democrats to support the bill. To support throwing millions of people off yeah. of health care. Yeah. So the replacement. He, he still uses the word replacement. I'm a little surprised, to be honest with you, he said. Yeah, surprised. But Friday's vote, to be precise, the decision to avoid a vote when defeat was assured was a cru crucial test for a new president, already suffering the rockiest start of any commander-in-chief in modern times. So he just uh, just doesn't care. Like, like he just acts like, all right, all right. The poor and and lower income people won't have any health care at all, and 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 he just doesn't care about what might happen. Like, uh, like uh, um, a nationwide um, aggression. No. Oh. You know, uh, or maybe it'll start a, a, a new civil war. Maybe people will be up. You know, will be will have torches and pitchforks in, in the in the, uh, the tens of thousands or more. No, then what happens when there are protests against Republicans is that like what happened with uh, Nixon and etc. What happens is they call the protesters today terrorists. Right. And in the old days, they they didn't respect grievances against the government, which no. the Constitution says we are allowed to have. Right, like when you see a, a rally, a live stream rally uh, from uh, our revolution, that would be a constitutional right yeah. to to uh, protest, to disagree. Mm -hmm. and, and and some and quite often to be outraged by by things that are happening that uh, um, by a president that is like uh, borderline impeachable well what happens is that they bring out the uh, the SWAT teams the combat teams and they make this situation worse well the, I got news for you uh, when when I when you, when you talk about a peaceful protest, um, and even the protests during Occupy Wall Street, right? You take that, and then you then you you change it to uh, and compare it to tens of thousands or hundreds of thousands of extremely angry Americans and uh, possible guerrilla warfare. 
you know, uh, uh, and uh, tens of thousands or hundreds of thousands of Americans turning vehicles over, burning buildings, and uh, and such. Well, that's what happened. How 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 is the big how was the Macho SWAT team that picked on the Native Americans in uh, North Dakota? How what the hell are they going to do against the asses of the masses in that in that amount? In that amount. Well, what happens, as I, as I was going to yeah, say, right, what right. happens in situations like that is the police make it worse. Oh, yeah, and then, they reta then there's retali the retaliation. Exactly, exactly. Then there's retaliation. And then, and and then, then you it's got, no longer peaceful. And then you got, you know... Because you, you, you're fighting back. So it's like the rat escalate. who gets trapped in the corner. It gets very sad. You're, you can only do that. You know, uh, to a certain amount, and that rat's going to fight back. He has nothing to lose. He's nothing to lose. The rat, when when you get to the point where a a uh, you have nothing else to lose, that's that what that is what makes it more dangerous. That's correct. If you yes. have nothing else to lose, and you have an at you have many avids, uh, adversaries. I mean, you have many individuals that have nothing else to lose that are that full of rage yeah. and then it gets into the tens of thousands the hundreds of thousands people in the inner city in the ghettos and everything you got then the gang starts saying oh 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 really the cops want to want to want to want to bump us off <laughs> they don't care about our lives well guess what well, it's open season on them there you go and then the you know and then the people start fighting back like you said mm -hmm. Okay, and, and when they fight back, it won't be like uh, King George's Redcoats, you know, a, 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 an organized uh, uh, it army. Won't, it, won't, uh, it won't be like those kids who sat down and allowed that cop to spray the pepper in their faces. No. Okay? No, there, there will be a... Not I assure you. There will be a retaliation of something worse than pepper mace. That's correct. Those kids, those were just a bunch of co uh, hipster college kids. A lot of them were girls, too, sitting on the yes. lawn. Yes, yes, yes. Just, like, hanging out. And, and and the big macho tough guy cop decided to pepper mace a bunch of college girls in the face. Yeah. Oh, real tough. That, that's like an article I read about. Republicans mm -hmm. want to pass a law that hunters can shoot bears hibernating in their dens. Oh, a real tough guy, real macho hunters, aren't they? Give the animal an even break. Mm -hmm. Can't do that, right? No. They, they got to cheat when they go hunting. You see, even the, 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 the cheating of Republicans, you know, is now getting into the sport of hunting, that they're, they're allowing hunters to cheat. There you go. Shoot a bear in his den. Hey. Hibernating while he's asleep. Somebody was doing that to grizzly bears. I tell you one thing. If a grizzly bear is wide awake, you only have one good shot, tough guy. <laughs> <laughs> you better make it a good shot. <laughs> On Monday, FBI Director James Comey confirmed the FBI was investigating whether Trump associates coordinated with Russians who were trying to meddle in the presidential election. Like we were talking about before. A potentially explosive inquiry that will hang over the White House for months or more. Trump's approval rating sank as low as 37 percent in the Gallup poll this week. By far the worst of any president at this point in his tenure. Hey, you got, you've got coal miners in West Virginia taking a liking to Bernie Sanders when he visited West Virginia. Cool, man. You know, because they, they're all starting to realize that... He should have taken a liking to him in the campaign. The Republicans don't care about them. Yeah. <laughs> no, the, what they did was they fixated on Hillary because Hillary said that uh, she, you know, she wanted to do away with coal mining. 
Well, uh, uh, plus, yeah, but Bernie Sanders, well, wasn't Bernie Sanders brought a lot more to the table right. to, to poor states like West Virginia. Right. And uh, it's not, it's not Mississippi. Time. Huh? It's not time yet to take away coal as a fuel this because of all those people who depend on it. You know? Well, people of Appalachia. If you can make it cleaner now, yeah. that would be nice. But you have to, you, if, you're, if you're going to end it, you got to end it and you got to have something cleaner. Yeah, well, well to go to. Bernie was saying, uh, even when he grew up in, in Brooklyn, New York, they had a coal stove. Yeah, so did I. They had a coal stove. And uh, from what I understand, the difference between a coal stove and a wood stove is that the coal stove is banked. you got to bank it. I don't mean you take the coal to the bank. I mean, uh, there's, there's metal plates uh, like in, in the shape of a V. You shake out the the ashes. Yeah, yeah, and then I had a uh, like a uh, uh, what the hell was his name? Uh, the, uh, the guy with the electricity and everything. Uh, Thomas Edison. No, 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 no. Nikola Tesla. Kite. Flying the kite. Oh, Ben Franklin. Ben Franklin. I had a Ben Franklin stove. Pot belly stove now, don't in you, my living room. Now, from what from what Iron Man Vinnie Blake. Had told me, um, and I and I, I give a shout out to Iron Man Vinnie Blake. Uh, is that um, you still need some wood to get the coals started. started? Once the coals are cherry red, same thing with the wood stoves. Once it, once you have that the base of hot embers, cherry red embers, then you just keep on maintaining it, and that's same, it. Same thing with charcoal. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You gotta keep it. And federal judges have blocked two of Trump's executive orders aimed at tightening immigration from a group of predominantly Muslim countries. Trump had worked the health care issue in traditional presidential style. He rallied supporters at a campaign style rally in Louisville, Kentucky. He traveled to Capitol Hill to lobby some Republican members and invited others to use the White House bowling alley. He helped negotiate revisions first to win over restive conservatives in the House Freedom Caucus and then to hold uneasy moderates. He left it all on the field. A subdued White House press secretary, Sean Spicer, told reporters oh, that douchebag. before the canceled vote. <laughs> the fact that Trump's all wasn't enough to carry the day raises questions about his political clout and his personal brand as the closer. The best-selling author of The Art of the Deal who said he could negotiate compromises that eluded ordinary politicians. Yeah, but compromise means we the people get screwed. Screwed, yeah. It leaves Republicans finally in unified control of Washington, bitterly divided. I will not sugarcoat it, Ryan said at a news conference called to announce he was pulling the bill. This is the point disappointing for us. To be sure, Trump and congressional Republicans could regroup over the next few months on health care. The president predicted Democrats would reach out to negotiate a bipartisan bill as problems with the Affordable Care Act worsened. He expressed his readiness to move on to other issues, including a tax overhaul. Yeah, because the rich are simply not rich enough. That's right. So we're doing pretty good on time. Excellent on time. Because I shaved last night. <laughs> oh yeah, I got a new razor here and it's foot. Crap! 
Uh, another crap Again, brain? Well, yeah, another electric one. Hey, you see the, the, oh, the reason why my face might seem oily to you is because I put extra virgin organic coconut oil on it as a moisturizer. Mm -hmm. Because I read miraculous things about it. And it was, I'm sure it, it'll be fine. Uh, you see that new uh, one advertised by uh, Philips uh, Norelco? It's a little, uh, it's electric. And it, and, it, and, if, and it shows the guy going against the grain and it's like, like a baby's ass. I gotta take a look. Let me... Look at it later. That's not the one you gave me, is it? No, this is the battery one. And it sucks. Sucks. Oh, okay. You're better off just... I, you know, all these had for 20 bucks the, uh, the Remington... Um, shaver that I used way back when and the thing I remember you didn't even have to prop up your beard you, you could have a dirty face and yeah you and it, would, it would go it would give you a yeah. baby baby's ass shave oh, Norelco sucks I have a triple well it burnt out on me I had a triple header Norelco it, it gave me so much irritation because I had to go around and around like I was grinding my face <laughs> but but the but the Remington, all I had to do was to go against the grain. <clears throat> it was a done deal. Well, regarding Jersey passes Trump tax bill, I read with great interest last Saturday's front page article about how the legislature passed the Trump tax bill which indicates that any presidential and vice presidential candidate must submit five years of tax returns to be eligible to appear on the ballot. My goodness! Although I believe all candidates should submit their tax returns, is this the most important priority for our state? We have no answers to the problems that plague New Jersey, such as an underfunded pension system, the highest property taxes in the nation, and a school funding formula that is supposed to promote fairness but does just the opposite, and which increases the tax burden depending on where you live. There are also the matters of significantly higher gas taxes due to Midnight Madness. Midnight Madness? In contrast to March Madness. Deal that also places, if the economists are correct, due to the various giveaways set forth in the agreement, is the best is this the best we can do mm. the presidency is an institution not a person the president is supposed to uphold the constitution and abide by it donald trump is not suitable to represent my country as president. He does not have the political experience or the persona to hold the position. He is belligerent, rude, self-centered, and not fit to run the country. And he has also become an embarrassment to us on the world stage. I am an immigrant and a U.S. citizen who served my country in the Navy during the time of the Cuban Missile Crisis. I am proud of my service. As a registered Democrat, I urge people to join in to start to do whatever it takes to remove Trump from office. Well, the part where he says he doesn't have the political experience, I, I, I don't like career politicians either. 
because then, then it's just business as usual. Same old, same old. Uh, um, but I understand what he's what he's saying. He, he really is quite green in in uh, when it comes to holding political office. Green and also insane. <laughs> Kellyanne Conway. Oh God. States that she does not understand why people criticize somebody so severely that they don't know. Ke Kellyanne Contway, is it? I suppose. This would include all the immigrants sought to be banned. And perhaps she has no opinion of any terrorists who have done harm to this country because, after all, they never met. Using this barometer, oh whatever one may think of the leader of North Korea is of no value without having sat down with the man for lunch. Uh, oh, she's defending him? <laughs> yeah, she's saying that uh, we should get to know him first before we criticize him. Yeah, but he wants to nuke people at the drop of a hat. Right. Oh. You know? He looks like the guy, the gangman man, the, the music video. Gangman, yeah. Gangman, gangman man. <laughs> I would also have to reconsider my opinions on Charles Manson. <laughs> After all, we both like the Beatles. Helter Skelter? Helter Skelter. <laughs> oh, and Revel Rev He was on the other night, you know, being interviewed by... Uh, Charles Manson? I think it was Barbara Wall. You know that young chick wanted to screw him over big time. The one that wanted that wanted to marry him. The young chick that was uh Yeah, her she intentions. She must have been out of her mind too. Her intentions were not, to marry were not admirable and sincere, huh? I said to marry him, she must have been out of her mind too. Well, that's like the uh the extreme to 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 being attracted to the bad boy image. Bad boy, he he calls himself the devil. Oh, he admits to liking oh, yeah. to liking Satan. He says he's Satan. He says hey, all you people tried to kill me, but you didn't succeed, and now I'm back. Hey, so so he's not a, a poor misunderstood soul. No, no way. I was framed. I, I misunderstood. I was framed. Those are the very common words of uh, inmates, right? Yeah, but not of him. Partisan <laughs> politics aside, Donald Trump's willful ignoring of the facts regarding Russian interference in our democratic elections compounded by his penchant for diversion by insulting our allies with outrageous accusations and allegations is anathema to everything that America represents. Trump's baseless claims and his selective silence are diminishing our standing in the world emboldening our enemies, alarming our allies, and straining the credibility of the most powerful man on earth. By disregarding the truth and spewing ridiculous claims, while not challenging Russia for its transgressions, he is unwittingly amplifying the resolve of the American people to know the truth. The one common denominator that should unite us all. Rather than stand up to Russia and demand that they pay dearly for their interference, he is disrespecting the sacrifices made to ensure our basic freedom. Trump's silence on Russia is deafening. It speaks volumes. Interesting. 
Am I seeing things, or is that a, a large jar of spaghetti sauce by where your feet are? Yes, it is. Why, that is a, why is it there? Because we have no room or shelves to put cans and Oh, bottles. okay, all right, I follow you now. You know? I just thought it was a rather interesting place for it. It's like sitting there all by itself or, or next to a, a motor oil can, uh, Used bottle. to be one over there, too. I don't know where it went. All right, no problem. Bye-bye. It's official. Well, we might want to talk about this, so maybe we you hold want to on. hold that for her. Hold, hold on. After lunch? Yeah. We're going to break for lunch. Now you will see how to defeat a conservative Bible verses. Simply hit the pause button, read and learn, followed by promo. And we'll catch you for, for the balance of this show, Progressive Discussions. We'll catch you on the flip side. <laughs> we'll catch okay. you on the flip side, exactly. And you can tell me about your lousy uh, uh, electric razor that you got. No, I'm going to have you. Uh, Monkey with it. Uh, give it a try on my face. Okay, no problem. And you'll see. All right. Greetings. This is James P. Madonna of Mega Life 21 Hard Hitting Podcasts, Holistic Health Talk, and Progressive Discussions. I want to talk about the very foundation of our entire organization, the newsletter that was founded by my co host and mentor, the Reverend Dr. William J. Eisman, in 1977. And that newsletter is called Censored. Newsletter Censored is truth and news fighting censorship and conservative propaganda. We believe we are living in the end times and you need Newsletter Censored. Newsletter Censored pr provides the kind of truth that most people are afraid to hear. Can you handle it? Newsletter Censored is for the independent, critical, free thinker with an open mind. Besides the reading of Censored, Newsletter Censored also has The God Project and How to Defeat a Conservative. There is nothing in the mainstream media or the press like Newsletter Censored. So simply go to www.newslettercensored.com and with your gift to support this work, get your free annual subscription 
to the newsletter that started it all in 1977, Newsletter Censored. You need Newsletter Censored. That's www.newslettercensored.com. Greetings. This is James P. Madonna of Mega Life 21 Hard Hitting Podcasts, Holistic Health Talk, and Progressive Discussions. I want to talk about the very foundation of our entire organization, the newsletter that was founded by my co-host and mentor, the Reverend Dr. William J. Eisman in 1977. And that newsletter is called Censored. Newsletter Censored is truth and news fighting censorship and conservative propaganda. We believe we are living in the end times and you need Newsletter Censored. Newsletter Censored pr provides the kind of truth that most people are afraid to hear. Can you handle it? Newsletter Censored is for the independent, critical, free thinker with an open mind. Besides the reading of Censored, Newsletter Censored also has The God Project and How to Defeat a Conservative. There is nothing in the mainstream media or the press like Newsletter Censored. So simply go to www.newslettercensored.com and with your gift to support this work, get your free annual subscription to the newsletter that started it all in 1977, Newsletter Censored. You need Newsletter Censored. That's www.newslettercensored.com. Okay, we're back. I hope you learned something during what you saw while we were at lunch. Of course, we didn't have lunch that fast. <laughs> you know. Um, well, I guess our next holiday is Happy Pagan Ishtar. There you go. Happy Ishtar. You know, it's like, uh, you know what really cracks me up is all these people that were so brainwashed as they were growing up by every all the lies they learned. And then when they find out the truth, it bursts their bubble and they get so upset. I never got up, upset in that way. I, I just accepted it. I, I was like, it was like a new revelation. It was something... It, 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 the truth sets you free. It's supposed to. You know, that all those textbooks were a bunch of malarkey and uh, everything your relatives told you was a bunch of bullshit. These are the people that were brainwashed to accept society as, as it was, as it is. You know, uh, like my grandmother used to say all the time, can't fight City Hall, can't fight City Hall, can't fight... No. If you can't fight City Hall, you're never going to go anywhere. Well, if... You're if, never going to solve problems. If our uh, early... Uh, if our if the colonists in the 13 colonies thought like that, there would, there would be no Boston Tea Party revolt. There would be no Revolutionary War. And by the way... They, they had spies, General Washington had spies that were pretending to be on the side of King George of England, you know, like regular folk that had uh, maybe stores and uh, 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 maybe different services in, in town and, and he, uh, they used to take care of the uh, British officers. Yeah. And they used to they used to listen to what they said, and you know, 
they had some Pony Express guy on a horse come by and, and get the uh, information that was written down and get it to the uh, the forces, the colonists. That I yep. mean, uh, General, General Washington's forces. Yep. So and all that stuff. But if if they thought like that, just accept things the way they are. Then uh, of course the uh, the the uh, the right wing monarch uh, King George would have taxed the hell out of the colonists. Yeah, and uh, just like like they do all all the colonies today's today's you know, all the colonies had to pay a hefty tax to uh, to the monarchy and because uh, they, they were the biggest blood sucking moochers of all time. <clears throat> the British uh, royal family, and then uh, you would have like you have today, except you have the corporate oligarch and, and the, and the uh, right-wing conservatives. Same mentality. I was watching a little documentary on Captain Kidd the Private. Hey. He was more of a like a privateer, actually. He was the, uh, the, the, the uh, King of England paid, yeah. paid Captain Kidd to... Uh, Attack and loot of French warships, mm -hmm. and or possibly, uh, probably Spanish too. Any any anybody who was an enemy of England, competitor, yeah. He was paid to to play pirate with them, but not on the British ships. And he made a mistake of attacking a uh, a vessel that was loaded. With treasure that was that belonged to the uh, to the British to, to monarchy in in the Indian Ocean, and that's when they were they they, they came after him, and uh, he was eventually hung for ah. piracy because he he pulled a Bernard Madoff. Oh boy! He he uh, when he soon as he stole from the one percent, the top one percent. That was it. That was that was it for him. Yeah. It's official. It is. A bumblebee is now the on the endangered species. Oh, oh, not the honeybee, not yet, but the bumblebee is in is officially endangered. I feel bad because you know what. I, I I always liked bumblebees. I always thought they were cute, big fuzzy things bumbling around with these little wings, you know, and and wings that were really too small to to allow them to fly scientifically, and uh, big big fuzzy like the like teddy bears with little wings. That's a shame. The U.S. Fish and Wildlife Service announced on Tuesday. The Trump administration reversed course and listed the rusty patched bumblebee as an endangered species just in the nick of time, said Rebecca Riley, senior attorney with the Natural Resources Defense Council. You know, bees are making a comeback, by the way. The honey bees are making a comeback thanks to countries and and uh, philanthropical uh, rich people that have sanctuaries for them there are there are countries not the United States but there are countries that do not allow Monsanto's uh, uh, roundup pesticides or any any of these pesticides in their country mm -hmm. that has been killing the honeybee population off Federal protections may be the only thing standing between the bumblebee and extinction. In early January, the service under President Obama had directed the rusty patched bumblebee to be added to the list and scheduled the official date for February the 10th. But Donald Trump issued an order temporarily freezing all new federal regulations a day before the species was set to receive its newfound protective status. 
Oh, so Donald Trump doesn't want to protect any creature. Uh, that's that's what that means. That's what it looks like. He doesn't want to protect the creature because why? Because it will cost money. Regulations. Oh, so they let, so, do not like regulations. Uh, so let let God's creatures become extinct. Republicans don't care. Now the wait is finally over. The NRDC had filed a lawsuit in federal court last month asking the court to stop the federal government from violating the law by freezing the bumblebees listing. The U.S. Fish and Wildlife Service originally placed the bee on the list because of a dramatic population decline of 87% over the past 20 years. It's the first bee of any type in the continental United States to receive a designation named for the rust colored marks on its back, <coughs> the bee was once common and abundant across 28 states, from Connecticut to South Dakota. Today, the species is found only in small, scattered populations in 13 states. Well, I wish you luck. Probably need more luck with the well, Trump being in charge. I hear that many species become extinct every year. I oh yeah, multitudes, of course. multitudes, and not not counting the ones that people are aware of. Aware, yes, exactly, exactly. You know, all caused by the greed of man. Greed. What, what 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 is the mindset of greed? Where what, what isn't that capitalism? Capitalism is what allows greed. Well, because you have, you want more. And then crony capitalism. You uh, want to give it to your friends. Yeah, doing favors to people that did you favors. Yeah. You know, and any any news about <clears throat> about what? Donald Trump offered Ivanka Trump as far as the, uh, the White House goes. Is there some kind of job he gave her? Nepotism related job? or uh, The daughter, you mean? Yeah. She's got a room in the White House now. Oh, really? And her... Her... Um, business has increased. Uh, now remember, Melania Trump tried to use her status as first lady for her business also. Well, yeah, that's how they all are. <laughs> yeah. You know? Yeah. That's what they're all there for. <clears throat> now, remember just a couple months ago, right. Ivanka's business was supposedly in, in trouble over at Elder at Nordstrom. Yes. Remember? And she was, they kind of boycotted her, right? Right. And now they, they increased 300 and some percent or whatever it was. So I don't know what's going on, but she is now in the White House with the old man doing something. I, know I don't know he, why. Uh, he's quite fond of her uh, good looks. That I know. Yeah, whatever. Yeah. Oh. After eight years <clears throat> of hearing Republicans vowing to repeal and replace Obamacare with something so much better. No, really? A beautiful plan that will cover everyone. Trump care. As Mr. Trump promised. The big moment has arrived, and what's the solution? They're trying to rush through Congress. 
a tax cut masquerading as a health care plan. <laughs> yes, the old GOP standard solution to everything from the economy to male pattern baldness. Trickle down tax cuts for the wealthiest Americans <laughs> has once again come to the rescue. Yeah, and oh, no, and don't forget the bullshit uh, Clean Air Act for the, for the environment. So, the bottom line is, their plan gives millionaires a tax cut, while millions of regular Americans will lose affordable health care. You dropped it. It's ironic and somehow predictable that Trump's American Health Care Act has managed to take the affordable out of Obama's Affordable <laughs> Care Act. Take the affordable out of the Affordable Care Act. Well, it, well it's... Uh... <laughs> and leave millions who gained health care without it once again. I find it ludicrous that someone in a position of power and writing for a newspaper in such a position can be out of touch with the real facts. The issue is not health insurance but health care. Just because one has an insurance policy means nothing if there are no doctors who honor that policy Furthermore, if we are going to go into the business of legislating people's choice for the sake of their health benefit, then we should outlaw smoking cigarettes, not exercising, eating sugary foods, eating prepared foods with high fructose corn syrup, etc., etc. There are a host of preventative measures we could enact to obviate the need for health care to a large degree. Anybody care to tackle that one? Got some good readings this week for the progressive discussions. Actually, it wasn't so bad that I uh, my my little initial monologue was short. You didn't Cut. fall asleep, you mean? <laughs> no, mm -hmm. I just I really didn't have anything to say. I really had no no uh, Chisler's Hall of Shame tirade. I mean, I I pretty much did it last week. You know, uh, of course, don't believe good customer service speeches from companies it's all bullshit they don't really care about you and I mentioned some names um, but I guess I was so happy gorging myself on several pounds of corned beef and cabbage <laughs> and drinking good beer that you know. <clears throat> what do we got there chief what do we got there since the Trump administration took office. The Republicans have done nothing new. Their only seeming intentions are to gut and repeal everything that the Obama administration enacted. The administration's goal is to ensure that big business and the rich are not in number encumbered by any legislation that would cause profits to decline. Oh, heaven forbid the good of the country should come before their profits. Regardless of the fallout to the environment or the workforce, the average American will pay the price. I feel sorry for those voters who thought Donald Trump was going to make <laughs> a difference. <laughs> Those, those imbeciles, you mean? <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, the, what do they call it? The biggest, uh, uh, 
this fantastic political banner I, I say the, the Donald Trump's election and administration is the greatest bait and switch in the history of mankind. Yeah. You know, comparing his campaign promises to what he actually said. is. Yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> Unbelievable. Makes me want to have another beer, but I only brought one. Few social programs would seem to be more immune to political attack than one that provides meals to homebound senior citizens. Oh, well, I guess they want seniors to drop dead, just like veterans, armed forces personnel overseas. They want them to come home in a body bag. They don't. You think they really care about the vet, the veterans, and 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 senior citizens? Unless unless it's their old man and mo mother of the fucking rich. But. In the era of President Donald Trump, that is not necessarily the case. The President's proposed budget for the fiscal year beginning October the 1st includes cuts to the Federal Community Development Block Grant Program, which traditionally has underwritten a variety of local public service projects and social initiatives. Many towns and counties, including Passaic County in New Jersey, use block grants to fund a Meals on Wheels program. The Passaic program serves almost 1,400 people a day. About 2.4 million are served nationwide through about 5,000 local offices. The premise of Meals on Wheels programs across the United States is, is not complicated. Provide seniors with a hot, nutritious meal either in their home or at a central location like a community center. Well. I hear it's donated food. It's not. It's not exactly top of the line. Um, my mom gets good food from a company called uh, Mom's Meals. I think the company's out in uh, Iowa somewhere. Mm -hmm. It's decent food. You know, it's not. It's no soup kitchen crap. The value is not merely the food itself but the companionship seniors get from coming together or by having someone visit them in their home. They like the company. If anything, the need for senior services will grow in coming years as the baby boom generation ages. Yeah, they could have a Meals on Wheels party and play canasta or whatever, whatever game seniors play. This is not a program to scale back. In defending the planned cuts in community development funding, Mick Mulvaney, the administration's chief budget officer, said, the program, which costs more than $150 billion really? since it began in 1974, for that crap food? It has not demonstrated results. You okay, huh? You okay, sir? You're, you're... We don't know. Okay. What results Mulvaney is talking about. But it is clear that the Meals on Wheels program <clears throat> keeps some of the most vulnerable members of our society well fed. And that's a good result by any standard. Well, collectively, social services as a whole only makes up one to two percent of the of the uh, federal uh, U.S. budget, right? I mean, if you had to take everything, everything that helps the poor and low-income people, 
So, <laughs> I guess, well, they, they love two things, Republicans. They love it when the poor die. We don't know. And they also love it when the poor end up in a privatized prison uh, working uh, as a slave for the man, for the corporation, for the man. Moreover, by visiting the seniors daily, Meals on Wheels staff members and volunteers provide safety and health checks that are critical for seniors living alone. This is literally taking the bread out of people's stomachs, said Passaic County Freeholder Assad Akhtar. The proposed cuts to the program have prompted an equally strong reaction throughout the country. Meals on Wheels officials said last Friday that in the wake of last week's budget proposal, the agency received 50 times the typical amount of daily donation, donations and experienced a 500% jump in volunteer signups. Hmm. Some defenders of the cuts may see private support for such programs as Meals on Wheels as a way to find, to fund them, excuse me. Private support is always welcome, but the sharp increase in donations to Meals on Wheels last week won't last indefinitely. That's why government funding is needed. There was a time when Republicans liked the grant program because it allowed local governments, not the federals, to decide how money would be spent. We are encouraged that some Republicans are already criticizing cutting money for block grants and the Meals on Wheels program. Are you all right? Yeah. No, because you didn't, I didn't catch the last word. You, you slurred. You must be. No, you slurred some of the words at the end of the sentence. Uh, I thought you were going to pass out on me, man. All right, the, you, a little more, a little more oomph. Uh, uh, a little more. Oh, I forgot to swear I was. Yeah, I was concerned. I, th I thought you were going to pass we out. We are encouraged that some Republicans are already criticizing cutting money for block grants and the Meals on Wheels program. The five Republicans who represent New Jersey in the House should join them. There's nothing wrong with trying to reduce government waste, but there's a lot wrong with making homebound seniors the target. All right. That looks like a big ass article there. Well, it was. Oh, it was a whole page, right? Yeah, it was. It was a biggie. Yeah, you know, just stuff it in there. There you go. There you go. Oh. We're, uh, I guess we got time for one more article. One more reading. Oh. The top two law makers on the House Intelligence Committee said Sunday that documents the Justice Department and FBI delivered late last week offer no evidence that the Obama administration had wiretapped Trump Tower. <laughs> but the panel's ranking, Democrat says, the material offers circumstantial evidence that American citizens colluded with Russians. Citizens? In Moscow's efforts to interfere in the presidential election. There was circumstantial evidence of collusion. There is no direct evidence, I think, of deception. Representative Adam Schiff 
Democrat California said. There's certainly enough for us to conduct an investigation. The House Intelligence Committee is to begin hearings on Monday into Russia's role in cybersecurity breaches at the Democratic National Committee, as well as President Donald Trump's unsubstantiated claim that his predecessor had authorized a wiretap of Trump Tower. FBI Director James Comey and Mike Rogers, the director of the National Security Agency, are slated to testify. Intelligence officials have said Russia was behind the theft, the theft, of Democratic National Committee emails last summer. I can care less about the Democratic Party. Fuck them. I don't care. The U.S. government later concluded that the Russian government directed the DNC back, excuse me, hack, hack in an attempt to influence the outcome of November. For the first time, the American people and all the political parties now are paying attention to the threat that Russia poses, said Committee Chairman Devin Nunez, Republican, California. We know that the Russians were trying to get involved in our campaign like they have for many decades. They're also trying to get involved in campaigns around the globe and over in Europe. Nunez said the committee will also examine whether the Russians were trying to sow doubt in the U.S. electoral system or Help Trump get elected. We need to get to the bottom of that. Nunez and Schiff were among a number of lawmakers who said on Sunday's news shows that they had seen no evidence the Obama administration ordered wiretaps on Trump during the campaign. Was there a physical wiretap of Trump Tower? No! There never was, Nunez said. The information we received on Friday continues to lead us in that direction. Republican Senators Tom Cotton of Arkansas and Susan Collins of Maine also said on Sunday that they had seen no evidence that the Obama administration had placed Trump under surveillance at Trump Tower. The Manhattan high-rise that houses Trump's residence, business office, and campaign office. Collins encouraged Trump to turn whatever evidence he has of the surveillance over to the Congressional Intelligence Panel's looking into the matter. The president repeatedly insisted a week ago that former President Barack Obama had Trump Tower put under surveillance last fall. Trump's claims widened to two of the United States' staunchest allies. He repeated an unsubstantiated claim that Britain's cyber intelligence organization conducted a surveillance at Obama's behest. They claim the agency GBHQ flatly denied. And he mentioned during German Chancellor Angela Merkel's first visit to Trump that Obama administration Monitoring, monitoring of Merkel's cell phone 
a bruising incident in German-U.S. relations. What the president said was just patently false. That must have been torture for, for Mark, Merkel to uh, when she came to meet with Trump. I, I saw pictures of the dirty look she was giving him. She didn't even get a handshake. They told, the photographers <sighs> told them, <clears throat> shake her hand so he can take a picture. You won't do it. You do it. Oh, because because she's a politician that actually gives a shit about her people. <laughs> you know. You know what? Uh, she looked pissed, mm -hmm. and the way she was looking at him, and and anyway. Um, so you almost that's sure. it. No, I'm Notice sure when she goes home. She will say something to somebody. Oh, you know. I'm sure the European press and the and the Merkel administration will have a lot to say, okay. and all of Europe. Uh, <sighs> what the president <sighs> said was just patently false. You've said it's so embarrassing of the Trump Tower allegations and the wrecking ball it created has now banged into our British allies, our German allies, and continuing to grow in terms of damage. He needs to put an end to this. You know, just for his attitude with, with Merkel, what is she, what is she called, the Prime Minister? What is she uh, called, Chancellor? Chancellor Merkel? Chancellor, Just yeah. for that, she should throw. She should tell the United States, remove your bases from from Deutschland, uh, from Germany, remove them as soon as possible. Get the fuck out. Well, you know. Really, I mean, I'm serious, and I wouldn't blame her. After World War Two. Yeah, I know, I know. Mr. Churchill and Mr. Roosevelt had the Germans sign a treaty that they would not mass an army again. Oh, they, they, didn't they have similar, uh, a similar treaty with Japan as Japan far as the also, military goes? Yes. But now the United we're like, States was supposed to defend So what are we, like 50 or 60 years into the future now? 70, I think, or so. Wow. But the point is that uh, Germany has now amassed its own military. And they're quite advanced. And we supply them. Supply them? Yeah. They don't, they don't need the United States. Japan. No, we supply them with military stuff. They go ahead. Who the, who the hell? The Germany? Yeah. Germany, they're, they're high technology, they're, they're, they're scientists, they don't need some rinky-dink friggin' United States made military anything. Well, and we supply it. <laughs> Saudi Arabia, you know? But it's different. All Saudi Arabia is just a bowl of sand. All uh, of these... Uh, how are they going to... They don't manufacture. Countries. They don't manu... Saudi Arabia doesn't manufacture anything. Germany has got natural resources. Well, anyway... And they, technology. We didn't want them to make army after World War II, but now we let them do it. So. Yeah, but with, with the way uh, Merkel was treated, she, she, looked, she looked pretty pissed, man. But I'm, I'm curious to see... The, uh, get the European reaction to all this when she returns. Yeah, probably we won't see it though in the, a, the papers that it will appear yeah. in, we won't see. It. Yeah. Jabronis. This is a grassroots uh, style, grassroots revolution, progressive talk show. As you can see by our surroundings, we don't have the expensive state of the art uh, studios with the big video screen in the background like Jimmy Dore has or Sink of the of the uh, Young Turks has but then again we don't have to answer to anyone yeah. at all <sighs> dig it dig it sucker like <clears throat> um, right yeah yeah I'm trying to think of the rest talk of his about name. talk about 
Yeah, talk you, about going off. You sound like you were gonna pass out, man. You're slurring <laughs> your speech. Uh, 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 um. I slur, slur my speech. Booker T. In the words of Booker T. And the MGs. One half of Harlem Heat. You dig that, sucker? That's Booker T. I had to have to give him kudos. I'm not gonna take credit for his uh, his uh, his uh, coins famous phrase. Thank you. So what do you got? One more? That's it. All right. Do me a favor. Look that away. Now look this away. Oh yeah. Your razor. Nothing. It sucks. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> I thought maybe I was seeing something like that. I was seeing like a smoother, a smooth. No, I'll tell you right now. Uh, left cheek. You want the goddamn thing? Take it. No. I don't want it. No, I don't want it. That's okay. Um, I got two. When I see that Remington back at all these for 20 bucks, I'm going to grab it. In that white box down there, the small one, there are two razor blades. I'm going to try using one and all. Regular razor blades. You mean with an actual blade? Yeah. You know, one time I, I ordered, what a sucker I was, I ordered an infomercial product. It was a razor, it was the only razor blade you'll ever need for your entire life. It was, it was supposed to last forever. Well, guess mm -hmm. what? It wasn't even sharp enough to give me one shave. How do these companies get away with uh, 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 with this snake, snake oil, this carnival snake oil bullshit, these lies, these, these, these products that do not work. How are no they, idea. how do they get away with all this? I have no idea. Then there's another thing that looks like a, it looks like, it looked like it was a pad that looked like, uh, uh, what women would use to, um, to smooth out their nails like an emery board and it, and it's supposed to buff the hair right off your body. It didn't buff anything. It just irritated the skin. It didn't take the hair off. They get away with fucking the consumer. Well, it's called that's called, that's no regulation. And the people just <clears throat> passively do fucking nothing. Americans wanna peacefully protest and sing kumbaya arm in arm like the Jill Stein hipsters. They just want to be, oh, all this love and crap. Meanwhile, if Europe, when they get angry and they protest, they freaking revolt and set things on fire and turn cars upside yeah. down. The United States, oh, they just want to sing kumbaya and, and come together and, and bang the tambourine or something. Give me a fucking break. You make me sick, oh. you Americans. And you imbeciles that don't have a pot to piss in that vote Republican. Mm. You That's know what? Sure. You definitely need a brain transplant. Maybe a split pea would be an improvement. No. Anyway, thank you for joining us for this week's show, Progressive Discussions. We'll see you next time. Uh, uh, Pagan Ishtar is not for... Uh, far away. Oh, it's not far away? No. Look on the what, what do we have? Two more weeks? I don't know. Look on the calendar. Well, first day of spring is, is gone already. All right, but that's so March. It's, it's officially spring. Oh, no, let me take a look. Good day, bro. Yeah. Bro. Are you okay? I heard you slurring again. Are you okay? Oh, jeez. You're slurring. All right. All right. You're right. Well, when it comes down to that final week, we'll pay homage to uh, Ishtar or something. I don't know. Fucking wear, wear bunny ears or something? Nah, I can't do that. No, no one will take us seriously. Ugh. All right, bye bye.